Thank you so much. Okay, I don't mind you doing this. That's all part of having this connection. Yeah. And so we have groups of, do we get labeled four? Yeah, find, find three partners. Let's start from the call now. And we really want this to travel, yes? Lovely toe traffic, an opportunity to show up that foot and really perform to the audience. A very clever person, much cleverer than I am, once asked me, and said, this at last, but what's the most important thing in the pirouettes exercise? What's the most important thing? You know what the answer was? Well, it's a good thing that. It's a good thing. Everything about the pirouettes. Everything about the pirouettes. It's the connection to the audience. It's the use of the technique. It's the transition step. The beauty of the part of the the trouble is we fixate so much on that pirouette and we kick ourselves in the pants when it doesn't work to the expense of everything that that um, exercise can change. Musicality, artistry, clean technique. We think a lot of things about the beautiful clock dimension, getting rid of Michael Phelps. There's all of these things that we have to do to it. Think of the exercise as a whole, not, not thinking of the pirouette in isolation. Think of part of the and part of those solo. Yeah? Are we clear? Do we know the exercise? <laughs> okay. Let's go for it. Thank you, Regina. Here we go. It's like, it's like the empty sentence. If you've done something fantastic, if you really want to sell it to the audience, you need that explanation. You need that punctuation. You know what? You're going to do a sick pirouette and then you're going to do you know, kind of a lethargic play. You can just skip it. You just sit there. You can sit behind the attack and get the issues. That's how you can treat that round of applause. And this is how you do it. If you're in an art place, 
in terms of something that black people say, in terms of the people that are from the male son, the female son, the papa, all these things, you start to get the first big law, the only starts. Yes, I know. What did we talk about, Devil of Hayes, at the beginning? Chassis par de bourre. Let's see the attitude before the extension. And hop, knee back, heel forwards, better. Thank you. Good. Grow into the tombe. Lovely. Next group. And and that's it. High demi point, three quarter point on these chenets. And position, good. Okay. Just be mindful of the this alignment of the hips on these chassis, ladies. Gets a little bit this way. And position, good. Just be careful on the underdog. Sometimes we're putting the hat on. Think of the extension of those fingers as well. Right, yeah, live to the end of these fingers. Okay, full three quarter point on the chenets, back of the knees, keep lifting. Good, okay. Well done, ladies. Really good. Really enjoyed that. Just be mindful. Again, it's this pelvic alignment, isn't it, on the chenets. Don't get into this position. Okay? And really inside thighs. Inside thighs. Glued together. Up, up, up. Full three-quarter point on the chenets. They don't really travel very much because if you break it down, heels together, you're really not traveling very much. Think of spiraling upwards. Yeah? Just be careful of alignment. Sometimes when we're taking the chasse pas de I see the hips opening. Okay? Everything has to be very, very square. Go back to the, the basics, the golden rules of classical ballet, yes? You're way too young to be taking shortcuts at this stage and giving it the flamboyant, yeah? Should we jump? Let's come all to the center. Let's uh, learn all together. <laughs> okay, we'll start fifth position, quasi. And so is five and six and seven and eight for your first and a first and a first and change and a first and a first and a first and change. We'll do coup, coup de pied devant and change, coup pay assemblé under and four super sews travel into the corner and a first and a first and a no, I didn't. I've got it totally wrong. First and a fifth, first and a fifth, four changements, coup de pied devant, derriere, coup pay assemblé and four travel into the corner. Repeat first and a fifth, first and a fifth. Four changements, coup de pied devant, and change, coup pied assemblé through the bra bar and then through the gateway to the four sautés, okay? 
inside thighs bring you forwards, okay? I do not want to see salmons flying out the river. Okay, are we okay with the music? Should we do this all together? I don't want to see any collisions. Are we ready? Find yourself a space. Just a warm up. Are we clear? First and fifth, first and fifth, four changements. Coup de pied devant, derrière, coup pied assemblé, and four travel into the corner. All right. Let's have that beautiful articulation of the foot. Every time we land, knees open over the toes and have that element of length. Thank you. And stand stiff. Four changements. Devon. To the corner. Left side. Devon. Derrière. Coupe. Ready to reverse it? Let's go. So it's derriere, Devon, Coupe, don't hit each other. Whoop. Very good. <laughs> okay, well done. Give your legs a shake. That was really mean of me, but it's a valuable lesson. It's a valuable lesson because this is kind of like when you're getting thrown into things and you don't really know the choreography, but you've still got to look like you're performing, you know what you're doing. Okay, the moment I said reverse, everyone's attention went inwards. Okay, and you completely lost your audience. It's a valuable lesson. Okay, let's um, we'll do that again. <laughs> assemble five and six and seven and eight. Glissade assemble, glissade assemble, glissade assemble, relevé and hold. Coupe croise, fifth, two changement, six on tombe to the fifth. And let's do a soutenu to finish with the spot in action. And glissade assemble, glissade assemble, glissade assemble, relevé. Coupe croise to the fifth, two changement, par le second. Arms to the fifth for the soutenu. Let's hear it once with the music. Get those brains activated. Thank you, Regina. Ah. <laughs> Hold. Two changements. Tight fifth position, soutenu. Two changements. Good. I know what you're all going to do already. Here. Nice fifth position before the relevé soutenu. Okay. What position does a glissade start in, everyone? What does it end in? Show me. Okay. Should we have, can we do this in two groups? Okay. Have you been doing roughly things in two groups? Or have you had them in three groups? You can speak. Let's do two groups. Let's do two groups. We want to get onto the good stuff, huh? Let's have my first group. The pirouette groups, not the pirouette groups, the adage groups. Adage group one. Okay, spread out. Here we go. Here we go. And one. Inside thighs. We've got to anticipate where that weight needs to be on the balance. Plie, hop. Good. Okay, next group. Not bad, ladies. Well done. Assemble means good. Okay. All right. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I set the exercise for a reason. I wanted you to hold it up until the coupe. So how are we going to achieve that? We're going to do a good solid plie, really focus about where our weight needs to be, and right above the metatarsal, you should be able to hold it all day. I'm quite impressed with myself. Huh? <laughs> yes. So, and, and we can, again, these glissades. Yes. Exciting. Now try it without these arms. Everything's so much easier here, isn't it? 
yeah? Dot um, assembly, again, we can make it really exciting. Does it take more energy? Yes. Will you be more tired at the end? Yes. Will you have the desired effect for the audience? Yes. Should we do this one more time? Okay. Let's see if this anticipation of the wait. If you're at the front, go to the back. I think you're. Let's see these solid, beautiful balances. Okay. And again, it's that thinking of up, 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 up. Don't let it go. Same thing. Thank you, Regina. And tight fifths. <laughs> Good. Better. Just be mindful of the arms. Windscreen wipers. Okay, good. Well done. Pumped. Other side. Fifth and fifth and fifth. Stop. Okay, not bad. Take a breath. Take a breath. <laughs> Am I making sense? It's just that ex level of excitement, and it's really about being on top of the music and giving the dynamic energy where it needs to be. Okay. In Britain, we're face famous for our lovely, crisp brilliance of footwork. Okay, it's very Ashtonian. All right, so let's do some battery. Okay. So five and six and seven and eight. We'll do glissade jeté and a fifth on chatois. Glissade jeté and a fifth on chassank. Coupé, jet, head up stage. Jet into attitude, head down stage. Coupé, that's assemblé. We'll do on chacat, on chacat. A little six son ouvert and a br brilliant pas de beret. Glissade, jeté, fifth, on chatois, changing the arm. Glissade, jeté, fifth, on chassin. Coupé, away, towards, fifth, on chacat, on chacat. Open to see son ouvert into arabesque and a beautiful, brilliant part de beret. Shall we listen? Can we have like a rag or something like that? Please, Regina. Like a. Scott Joplin. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever you like. Bit faster. Yeah? Oh, wait. I want to see, I don't, I don't want to see that part of Bray. It's going to be so fast, quicker than the human eye. <laughs> yes, once more. Glissade, jeté, and fifth on chatois. Glissade, jeté, you can beat it if you want. Fifth on chassank. Coupé, jeté, arms come to first. To the audience, closing fifth. Pion on chacat, pion on chacat. Open to ouvert, part of Bray. Do you want to hear it once more? Yeah? Okay, once more. Thank you, Regina, that's perfect. To the twa, one, two, three, four. Clear as mud, are we okay? Yeah. Side to side, not forwards and back, yeah? Get that first beat in, inside thigh, from the top of the inside thighs. Who were my first victims? Come on, more than two of you. Let's have this, this block. We'll do this in three groups, shall we? So if you're a little bit unsure, get yourself in the third group and learn it. Are we ready? Come forwards, it travels travels this way first, so come on over. 
It's good to have a tongue twister or two in your repertoire. Are we ready? And. Toi. For the sank. Coupe. Two. Entre cats. See sunk. Pas de beret. Other side. Good. Side to side. Pas de beret. Good. All right. Well done. Get away towards on chakas. See son Padre other side. On chatoa. On chasang. Two, three, four. Okay, well done. Can't do it. Can't do it. You can do it. Good. Two, three, four. Where are my coup de pieds? Hup, two, three, four. <laughs> Good. At least you were smiling as you did it. People still watching think everyone else has gone wrong. Well done. Okay. Hard stuff, ballet, isn't it? Yes, it's all about sequencing. This is the good, I mean, choreography, sequencing. It's not like learning a solo, learning the same step that you can perfect, perfect, perfect. Eventually, you're going to be have material thrown at you left, right, and center. The quicker you can process and get that choreography, not only in, not only learn the steps, but actually embody it, and then think of the performance, yes? Okay, you'll remember this class in years to come, and you think, oh, my Mr. Parker, he was absolutely right. Yes, okay. Do we want to do that again? You do? <laughs> right, fair enough. <laughs> I'd have said no. Okay, but before we do, can we just really think about these coup de pieds? Okay, every time we land, we're out here somewhere. Okay. Don't think of a high jump. In battery, it's all about, think of your granny's knitting needles, yeah? It's all about that precision and the brilliance. Getting those feet crossed, getting the inside thighs crossed. And the only way we can really be on top of it in the music is not by jumping, it's not about elevation. It's about showing off this intricacy of the footwork, okay? Are we ready, first group? All right, so think of cleanliness. Don't worry about the arm positioning. Keep it simple. Let's just see this precision of footwork. Thank you. And. There's a reason it's called a toir and a sank. Let's see the positions. Up. Okay, good. Well done. Good. Now try smiling on top of it. You love it. You love it. Good. All right, well done. Okay, well done. Valuable lesson. Keep the keep the brain ahead of the exercise. Even though you're focusing on what you're doing at that time, always think, what is next? What is next? Where does my weight need to be? Otherwise, you get that kind of jittery moment, okay? Brilliant. Well done. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, let's do something slightly easier that travels and you can have some fun. Five and a six and seven and eight for your chasse part of a rate on levee. Chasse par de bore ton levé. Balance, balance, arabesque for your grand jeté. And your grand jeté into a little gallop for your ton levé. Run to the corner. Turn around on yourselves. Seven and eight. We'll do a chasse par de bore. Glissade jeté. Coupé, chasse par de bore. Taking in the audience and jeté. From here, we can do a coupé kuro. I'm going to be really nice and let you do this to your good side because I don't think we'll have time to go both sides. Kuru to fourth. For your pirouette and fouet and fouet and fouet and you'll pull in to finish on the music. Okay? Chasse par de bourre ton levé. Chasse par de bourre ton levé. 
balance, balance, Arab. Whoa, hang on. Arabesque. Beautiful picture, front cover of the magazine. Do we want to be like that on the front cover of the magazine? Right behind you. Don't thwack it. Position. Let's grow into the release, into the run, run. Grongete. Not this way. Up and forwards. Yeah, little firework explosion. Second time into the gallop. And ton levee. I don't think we've got time to run. We'll do a ton levee. A little whoopsie do. And a chassis pas de beret. Glissade, jeté, coupé, chasse pas de beret, glissade, jeté. Through underneath yourself for the fourth. For your double and single, 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 and your pull in to finish. Should we hear once? Okay. Big preparation. This travels, and you go up. Grand jeté. Little gallop for the tonne levé. And chasse and prepare. Left side. Taking in your audience. Your crew. No sound. And if you do hit an amazing pirouette, bum, 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 bum. As long as it's on the beat of a bar, you'll fool the audience, and that's fine. But if you're on a half beat, you do, you get that tumbleweed. Are we clear? Shall we do like our pirouette groups, four at a time? So with all of these, the chasse pas de beret, ton levé, and also the run, run, grand jeté on tour on, think of traveling, transposing that, that uh, kinetic energy boom, into ele vertical elevation, okay? Like the skaters do. That's how they can do quadruple toe loops. Use that traveling momentum. Get underneath yourself. Go directly up into the sky. Okay, we're ready. Loads of energy. Who's this for? It's for the audience. Here we go. And. Knee back. Straight up. Balance it too. Stretching those back legs, ladies. Good. All right. Ton levé and through. Prepare. Okay, let's see the attitude. Up. Good. Squeeze the fondue. All right. Straight into the next group. Well done, ladies. Right behind you on this tunnel of A. Let's see the leg stretched. Up. Harness the energy and explode. Good. Nice to keep the knee back. All right, try not to get into this habit, ladies. Yes, it's the knee that's taking us back on each of these flotes. Up. And up. And finish on the one. Okay, I'll give you the one. Okay, where were you? <laughs> okay, while well, we've stopped, it's really great. It's fantastic. Lots of energy. It could be even better, and your elevation could be even higher if only you would coordinate the arms with the initiation of movement. Sometimes it's a bit of an afterthought. You've, you've used the energy. You're going skyward, and then the arms follow afterwards. I've never understood why if you just coordinate everything, that's where you're going to get the elevation. If I was just to ask you to, I don't know, jump like, like a basketball hoop, instinctively you would all coordinate the arms with the takeoff. Instinctively, when it's just being a human being, natural, you know. Why, don't, why is it any different in ballet? Use, it's physics, use the coordination. 
Trust me, I know I sound like I'm going mad, but it works, believe me. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. So the arm can take you, lead you upwards. Up, ready? And all together. And whoop, better. Ready, and attack. Good. Along, along, to go up. We're nearly finished. It's three, two, one, one, one. And up. That's it. Harness the power. Good. Try not to bring that weight backwards. Keep it over the supporting foot and position. Okay. And let's have some nice tidy linking steps on the part of a rest. That's it. Use of turnout. Good. Fabulous. Well done. Heel forwards. Along to go. Up. And again. Up. Okay, think of traveling, and up. Come on, let's see you fly. Up, good. Up, up, and round, and knee back, and knee back. Okay, all right. Very well done. Yes, when these fuetes, just be really mindful. Try not to, again, to go and slip into this lordotic position. Good plie, and then it's the knee that takes us, and then we're really utilizing that use of turnout. I don't want to, you know, you can be really cruel and, you know, slow down, you know, slow-mo, and you'll see th these kind of positions happening. Yes, don't allow yourself to be caught out. What I always say is police yourselves, okay? We can't do it for you. We can apply the technique. You, you, it's, then it's up to you to um, ensure that everything you do is in the classical mold, okay? So police yourselves, all right? Um, I've heard we're running a little bit ahead of time in the competition wise, so let's do a very quick reverence and, um, and then go and get yourselves changed. Okay, so just quickly all together. We'll do a step to your left first for your audience, two and three and four, and then to Regina, five, six, seven and eight. Are we ready? Just a small introduction. Thank you. And... And to the lovely maestro, Regina. Okay, lovely. Well done, everybody. Good work. Thank you, Regina. Excellent work. Very good work, guys. Really good. Let's bring, always bring that energy, but really important is that coordination, tying everything together on all of those takeoffs.